Here we are in Area A. This is Unit N in the Northwest Quadrant. This morning while we were traveling, we found the distal end of a projectile point. You can tell it's the distal end because it tapers off into a triangle. Basically what we're going to do now is map it in place and then we're going to take some soil samples around it. So we're here in Area A, where we've just found what we believe to be the base of a stemmed point. What makes it really cool is that it's made of obsidian. Um, and we can tell that it's the base of a stemmed point because um, the tooling that's been done on it and the shape of it. And we believe that it's actually got broken while being manufactured. After we take it out of the ground, right now we're mapping it in place so that we know exactly where it came from. We have this north arrow to give us um, directionality in relation to north and we have an RN number, which lets us know exactly which artifact it is and where we found it. And once we take it out of the ground, we will put it into our system, bag it, and archive it for later so that we can an analyze it at a later date. So today when I was excavating in Unit 18, uh, through the feature, which appears to be a pit. I came upon what seems to be a small, medium-sized bone, um, and as I was excavating around it very carefully, I found some other smaller bones. Um, I can only speculate that maybe it's a medium-sized animal. We've found in the past uh, wolverine bones, so it could be that. In addition to finding bone, we also found a tooth, which can be very helpful in determining what kind of creature the bones came from. This morning, as we were excavating the same feature as yesterday, uh, feature 78, Tim came across a projectile point, yet again, very close to the last one that was found yesterday. Uh, this one is unique in that it has a fracture at the base, um, which could mean that it was from impact as it was shot and the shaft came in and uh, fractured the base. The white stuff on the projectile point is calcium carbonate, which forms on the side that was in contact with the ground and this usually indicates an arid environment in the past. 